We now learning that the Haryana government has told the High Court, uh, as far as the new violence is concerned, that a total of 34 people are affected in the demolition. 28 are Muslims, 6 are Hindus, and the government has further added that the demolition carried out was in accordance with law. Following all procedures, the Qatar government has also said that no pick and choose approach has been adopted by the government while removing illegal construction. For more details, Ananya Bhattagar joins me on the phone line. Uh, Ananya, remember, no matter which state, but the BJ BJP state governments are always accused of adopting that uh, pick and choose policy. So, the, uh, what the go uh, government has now told uh, the High Court, in fact, holds double importance because they've gone on to uh, clearly emphasize on the fact that there's no pick and choose uh, policy adopted. At the same time, this comes when Bupinder Huda is gearing up to corner the government uh, in the assembly. Well, definitely, Bupendra Uda is uh, planning to call up the government at the assembly. But this is something that has been filed before the Punjab and Haryana. I could very categorically stating that, you know, no kind of uh, pick and choose method has been adopted by the government. And in fact, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, the NU is a Muslim dominated area and there has been action that has been initiated in that particular area only on illegal construction, which includes 20, uh, the housing of 28 Muslims and uh, uh, in fact, the others are. Uh, Hindus who have been affected in this particular uh, thing, but uh, definitely no kind of a pick and choose has been done is what has been said by the Qatar government. The Qatar government also goes on to say that all of these demolition activities or removing of encroachment is it done in accordance with law. Prior notices were given and these are constructions that are illegal in nature. They have been, uh, you know, uh, demolished or uh, are being done by a bulldozer activity. All right, many thanks to Ananya for bringing in all those inputs.